He's undertaken operational tours across the globe and is the Chinook's only current A1 instructor, meaning he's forgotten more about flying than most of us will ever learn. He uses the wing over to reposition for the running back along the crowd line in exactly the same way a frontline pilot will wreck a landing site before their landing. He's running in now for the famous roller coaster, pitching the aircraft up to 50 degrees from the horizontal before pushing over at the top, bunting the aircraft and racing back down towards his hard deck of 100 feet. As he passes crowd center, he'll enter the second half of the roller coaster, asking the Chinook's two 5,000 horsepower engines to offer up a big chunk of their performance before throwing the aircraft over the top of the second bunt. Joining Jim in the cockpit today is Flight Lieutenant Jamie Johnson, known as JJ on 18 Squadron. JJ joined the RAF in 2014 and has served on 18 Squadron since 2020. He's taken part in exercises in a host of exciting locations around the world, including Macedonia, Estonia, Lithuania, and the United States, and is deployed on operations in Mali. Around his display duties, he's working up towards becoming an operational captain, ready for a deployment in the autumn. Jim and JJ are now running in from the right for the solo nose over. Jim, in the right-hand seat, is entirely reliant on JJ for his patter. Let's join them in the cockpit now. Ready, set, uh, now. complete their nose over they begin setting the aircraft up for the second of the pedal turns Jim puts the aircraft into a max performance climb before putting a large pedal input at the apex reversing the aircraft through 180 degrees as they exit the pedal turn they'll perform a pass of the flight line and give you a chance to some cracking photos of the Chinook he joined the RAF initially as an armourer where he worked to prepare the RAS now retired tornado fleet for operational sorties. However, in 2015, he saw a change of career and converted to aircrew, fulfilling a lifelong ambition of being paid to fly for a living. The aircraft is supported by a huge number of engineers that keep that airframe airworthy and functional. All of them have returned to Cosford today to the school where they learned their trade and it's their absolute privilege to be able to show the endeavours of their efforts here for you. They just resupplied and gave them the opportunity to demonstrate the Chinook's astonishing power to weight ratio. As they complete the corkscrew, they'll begin a 405 degree spiral descent back down towards their hard deck. It's worth noting that all of our display activity is conducted around normal duties and operational commitments. Both aircrew and engineers work tirelessly to deliver their normal operational output and will return to work tomorrow to fly and fix helicopters and ensure the UK retains a credible air manoeuvre capability. The crew are positioning now for a run-in and break. This is a great chance for a photo of the aircraft's underbelly but more importantly, enables Jim to bring the blade slap to RAF Cosford. But there's an awful lot more to the Chinook Force than just the aircrew and engineers who are here at Cosford today supporting the display. Yeah. Every trade at RAF Odium exists with the singular aim of enabling the Chinook Force to deliver air manoeuvre. The tireless work of our air operations only helicopter capable of this impressive feat. And it's a tribute that has helped many a crew get out of a tight spot. 
shoulder departure. As they lift to the hover, please give them a big wave and a cheer. They assure me that if you're loud enough, they can hear you over the thunderous sound of the Chinook's blade flap. With a flash of the landing lights and a wave from the crewmen, the 2023 Chinook display is finished. It has been an honour to display the Boeing CH-47 Chinook for you here today and bring the blade slap to RAF Cosford. Please come and find us in the RAF village to meet our team. Uh,